Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Thanks for joining everyone. If someone could just confirm that they can see on my screen or see my screen on theirs, the um, Excel file is open uh, and that they can hear me okay. Hi, Dan. Yep, we can see. Okay, excellent. So today is just going to be a real quick one. Um, just introduce the, the basic functionality of using a, a mail merge, uh, which is another just quick tip uh, and trick that if you've never used it before, um, is a real eye opener. Uh, a useful thing that this can be, in addition to being used for actually creating mailings, so having kind of like customized pages where each one has, you know, hello and the person's name, um, but the text of the letter or something is the same, and also being able to quickly print out uh, a bunch of envelopes using a list of addresses. You can also use this for something like producing certificates for a training. Uh, producing name badges um, or producing uh, beneficiary cards or if you had a um, submissions from a survey uh, and you wanted to create an individual file printout um, of each survey submission for records or for um, having handouts for people to physically check or something like that. Um, all these are instances where uh, it can be useful to, to do a mail merge. The Google Doc here, um, with the overview uh, is linked in the calendar invite. Um, and we'll go ahead and uh, dig into that now. So you'll need a table uh, in an Excel file with the different data values that you will want to use in your different uh, output files. Um, as much as possible, you want to break the data into different columns. This provides you more flexibility um, and also is just uh, good data practice. Uh, if you have a separate column for both last and first name, uh, it's better than if you have those combined in some way. Uh, if you are recording an address, you want to split out each component of the address, uh, the street address, the, the city, the state, the zip. Um, so as much as possible, uh, keep those things in different columns. Um, and it will just, it'll be easier you, in the long run, you won't run into a gotcha later on uh, and have to do some extra work uh, cleaning up, up your data uh, to get it to do what you want. Um, after you have uh, that table, uh, you'll need to create your template. You do this uh, in Microsoft Word. Um, here, I've just done a real quick uh, basic uh, certificate. I've done a, like a little border box and a logo in there. Um, and then I've just typed in uh, some random words where I'm going to fill in with the data from my table. Um, after having created kind of your uh, basic template in Word, uh, under the mailings tab at the top, uh, there's an option to select recipients. Uh, there's a couple of different items in this dropdown. You want to use an existing list um, and then you'll get the option to browse to a file. Um, and I'm browsing to the uh, Excel file that I saved with those uh, names. And, uh, and choosing to open that. Um, it's going to tell me that it's a potential security risk. I created the file and saved it myself, so I know it's not malicious. So it's a trusted source, it's from me. I'm gonna click yes. Um, I'm not sure what this particular error is I'm encountering on my Mac, but I am able to click deny and it works um, fine. Uh, and now, I've only created one sheet in my workbook, um, and it just has only the table of data. Uh, so I am fine leaving the defaults checked here, just sheet one. And it will, um, if you only have the table and no other values in different cells, you can just leave the cell range as an entire worksheet. You don't need to define a cell range there. And then I'm gonna click OK. Um, now I can start identifying which parts of my template are going to change. 
So here I'm going to select where I want the first name to appear. In the mailings menu tab, there's another option for insert merge field. I'm gonna click that, come down and select. You can see it has um, in the list, there's the three columns that I've defined. I'm going to select the first name column. Uh, the text on the, in the template uh, will change to the column name with uh, these uh, arrow symbols on either side. And I'm gonna continue, uh, do the same for the last name and the uh, position here. Um, now uh, I can check to see what each one's going to look like. Um, there's an option in this mailings menu tab uh, to preview results. And then by using the forward and back arrows next to that uh, menu item, you can move forward and back and see each of the rows in your table being used to populate those uh, fields as you go through. Um, in this case, I want to merge the entire table, uh, all the different rows, but you can adjust uh, which records you want to merge, um, and then go to finish and merge, where you can go to print documents. Um, it will come up with your print screen options. In this case, I'm going to save as PDF. Um, I'll just save it real quick to my desktop. Um, our documents. Uh, and I can just uh, type in this case, uh, certificate output. And when I save it, um, I can then go to my documents file folder, find that certificate output file. And when I open it up, um, you can see I now I have a uh, six page uh, PDF and those uh, different names are used on each of the pages. So real quick and easy, a lot faster than copying and pasting names onto uh, the different pages or uh, doing something like that. So yeah, um, that is the quick and dirty overview of mail merge. I'm opening it up for any questions. Um, happy to to answer anything that people have. Amy has asked in the chat if this only works with Word. Um, definitely with Microsoft Office, uh, they have refined this so that it's pretty, uh, pretty easy. Um, I'm not sure if there are options that work um, like in OpenOffice or LibreOffice. I would imagine those have mail merge functionality, but I have not looked into that. Um, does it work? Like, uh, can you do it with PowerPoint? Um, I'm not sure I haven't tried. Uh, if you were, um, so from, if, from a hack, a hack he work around would be to, from the PDF, um, save it out as separate image files. And then from those image files, like bring those into a PowerPoint, making each one a different, a different slide. Um, if you wanted to, to make a bunch of uh, slides from like a template in Word and then uh, data in Excel. I've dropped a, a link to a quick 
pretty quick survey um, that if you're on this call, would appreciate if you would fill that out. Um, we use that feedback to guide uh, future mini learning sessions uh, and also request if you have any topic ideas or things that you would like to, to have covered. Hey, Dan, this is Jeff. Morning. Hey, how are you doing, Jeff? Hey, good. Um, thanks for this. I, I know you touched on it in the beginning, but could you give some more examples about um, on what other type of um, forms or, or functionalities that you would normally, maybe in your own experience, that you commonly use this tool for, this function for, besides oh. certificates? Um, just, just some other examples. Yeah, so it's, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, and I haven't had great success saving the template file uh, and having it like work each time I open it, but I've used, you can insert images using okay. this mail merge function as well. If you have like the, the file path and mm -hmm. file name as one of the column values. Okay. Um, so I've used this to generate um, map booklets where I, I needed to print to a specific um, orientation and place on the page so that we had like custom uh, right in the rain paper that we were printing on or something mm -hmm. um, for beneficiary cards. So if you have uh, like image files with the QR codes or with people's um, pictures uh, and then just creating a bunch of um, beneficiary cards uh, in addition to certificates, also like name tags um, for a uh, workshop or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Great. Great. That's really helpful. Thanks. Do you have a um, garden party and need customized in invitations for everyone? You can use this for that. Um, I don't know. Let's go one. Great, thanks. Okay, um, thanks everyone. Uh, as always, if you have additional questions or comments, feel free to reach out via email, Slack, Twitter, um, any of those other digital means, and happy to, to answer questions about this or anything else. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome. Bye.